Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to another episode of Collins Corner. Today, we're not going to talk about the APB 16. Instead, we're going to talk about the, wait for it, APB 8. Whoa! the crowd roar. Okay, enough of that. That's right, the APB 8. All the same amazing programmable analog circuitry in an 8 channel configuration. Oh yeah, the APB8 can run all the same plugins that the APB16 can, provided there's enough processing channels to run those plugins. And yes, the APB8, you can daisy chain up to five of them on one single Thunderbolt bus. In fact, you can combine any combination of APB16s and APB8s together for whatever kind of system you want of programmable analog. That's real analog, folks. Eight channels or 16 channels. How'd we do it? Well. We took all the same boards from the APB16 and threw them into a box and called it the APB8. Except that we took that analog board, which is like the biggest board in it, and we cut it in half. And then we have half the board. Hey, half the channels. Not quite like that, but you get the idea. Although for you nerdy people out there, we also made it this way, so that way the APB8 has the same signal to noise performance as the APB16. That's right. We're pretty anal over here, but you know, if you're gonna go for real, high quality analog processing, you got to be kind of anal. Anyway, so the APB8 is made to operate and behave as closely as possible to the APB16. The only difference being it only has eight channels instead of 16. Here I have a session. Wow, it's got the C673A and the L18 limiter. You know what? They look exactly like they looked like when I ran them on the APB16. Well, that's because they are exactly the same. They just have to be running on an APB8. That's pretty cool. Well, wait a minute. You said I could combine APB8 and APB16 units together. You sure can. Well, how do I know what's on what? You don't have to know. Our drivers handle all that stuff for you, folks. You just instantiate the plug it on the track you want to apply the processing to and do your thing. It's almost like magic. Anyway, so just like any Pro Tools session, I can hit play. I can mess with my track. It's louder. It's quieter. Darker, lighter, without the limiter, with the limiter, Ooh, a little fizzly. Okay, you get the idea. And as I've mentioned before in a previous video, we also now have the APB status application. So right up here in the upper right hand corner of my screen, bam, there it is. Check it out. I can monitor the APB8 or I can monitor the APB16. Either one. It tells me how many of my channels are in use. Oh, I'm using six of 24 channels. That's right. I got 24 channels of APB processing in this session. Why? Because I've daisy chained together an APB8 and an APB16. Heck, if you own an APB16, you probably just want to have an APB8 so you say you have one, right? Because 24 sounds a lot cooler than 16. Ladies and gentlemen, the APB8. Eight channels of real programmable analog processing. Who wouldn't want that? 